Welcome back to Gilla's Pride. So amidst the chapel, through the game's room, through this room, which does seem to have a doorway there, right? Oh no, that's just a little hole. Okay, the game's room had a couple of doors, I see. Don't know if any guards patrol through here. What's this all about? High voltage on off switch. Is that just the lighting? Yes. Alright. Some uh, religious bottles, but they're not valuable. What's up on that? Is there anything on top of that? No. How about the other side? Doesn't look like it. Let's zoom in. Nope. Okay. Well, I mean, this could, this could be hiding a secret, you know. Oh, just a healing potion. Well, you know what? I'll take it. Doesn't close again. I was thinking something bigger, because there's enough room in there for a whole chamber. You know, a smallish chamber, but a whole chamber. Alright, so where are we going now? We haven't been in the main hall yet. So that's the side door to the outside. Does this red key I've got actually work for the side for these doors? It does. Okay, it's not just the boat doors, it's just the general house key. Why did Lady Giller entrust was it the servant with it? I can't remember who it was. Or the guard. With the key to the whole house. I mean the guards have those keys already. Oh shit, that's not good. Is that you? Don't know how far up that I mean the Probably wouldn't have walked into me, but you never really know. Oh, have a look. You know, we could get up to the second floor. Hmm, maybe that is the way I should approach the second floor. I don't know where the stairs are. I guess the stairs are in the main hall. That might be a safer way up. Okay, so this key is working pretty well for most places. <clears throat> Let's show yourself. Hear that? Your dog meat. Where's he gone running to? This is not good. Are they going to be going up? They're going to be running up there. I think they might be running up to the balcony. Or worse, they might be running to the alarm. That would be particularly bad. I don't know, nothing seems to be happening. Hmm. I don't know, there they are. They've just gone up to the balcony. That's okay, I can, I can look for that. Ow! 
That hurt. That really did hurt. I didn't think he would see me. I didn't think he knew I was there. We definitely need to stay away from this archer. If he finds me, we're just gonna get murdered. That's what I need. Don't, don't see me. Okay, I think it might be okay. We're still alive. We cleaned out our inventory of all the food. I think it's time to try the second floor for real. <laughs> Very bad. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna. Uh, no, that's the only repair I've got. I was going to say I'm going to leave it there, but actually, seeing as I don't have any others, that's not a good idea. Where's my key? Oh dear, I don't know if this guy might be alerted to my presence or not. Oh, if he is, he's... Doesn't go right round, I see. So, okay, we can make it into some rooms relatively safely. I'll keep that door open so I can hear what the guards are doing. This is guest room, right? Uh, yeah, first guest room. Maybe not the one I have a key to? Oh! Well, this definitely overlooks the, uh, the battlements pretty well. Oh, that's very heavily patrolled, though. Three of them all patrolling together is pretty, uh, pretty good coverage. This guy pays a lot of money. I mean, he doesn't pay guards very much individually, I guess. It definitely pays a lot of money for all of them together. Helga, don't bother yourself with cleaning the house today. Come to my room instead. I have something to tell you, Argilla. Hmm. Does that sound suspicious? Oh. No, no, no. The lights off. Um. <clears throat> Does come down this hallway. Let's sit in the dark and try and see where they go. We got been caught a couple of times. I don't have any flash bombs, so getting caught is a serious problem. <laughs> you know what? I'll leave that door open. It could be a handy escape. Him seeing me out of the corner of his eye. Where's that guest room key? I wonder if the guards can get in here. That might be. It might not be able to. So this was a key. I guess it was that taffer. I have to confess that Mr. Keller is quite an odd person. I didn't even know him about a year ago. Of course, when he married Booker's daughter, it was kind of impossible not to hear about him. It is no secret that he seems to be wanting to get inside the nobles' circle. And has started to invite devils for parties and such. And I confess, quite 
quite a party. Quite amazing parties. But something is wrong with it, Mr. Giller. I would really like to know where he's from, but he's avoiding that subject. Today, something interesting happened. The other guest, who was leaving, wanted to give Mr. Geller a little present. A painting. A very valuable one, too. An original version of the first builder defeating the trickster. If I recall the name right. When he gave Geller the painting, I could clearly see his anger and rage, even though he tried to conceal his feelings to most of his ability. I have not seen the painting since. Well, good news. You won't see the painting again, because I haven't. I had a rough weekend today. One of the guards slammed my door open and shouted if I had anything missing. It wasn't even six bells. Soon I had my breakfast with the killers and found out that there had been thieves in the building. They only stole the servant's wagon, but Runa was still a bit too indifferent to my liking. I even found out that he hadn't been very furious at his guards, which makes us even more odd considering his usual quite aggressive temper. If I had to describe Mr. Geller with one word, that would be fast. I was having my breakfast with Mr. Geller when I noticed that his wife wasn't in there, unlike every other morning. It turned out that she had gone to some kind of a wagon market. Now that's fast. A day from the thievery, Mr. Geller is already getting new ones. When I asked him what the city watch was going to do about the theft, he just said that it was just a damn wagon. Now that's interesting. All this excitement about the thieves has been too much for me. I'm going to get myself drunk. I deserve it. Okay, no, that was actually... Okay, so that was actually the guy who's staying here that we got the key from. So... Who was the other taffer in the sewers? That, uh... Ah, locked us the guest room key as well. So who is... Maybe we could have picked that door, but not the lock here. Hello, he's got a ring as well. So who was the other taffer in the sewers? Oh, Pongo or whatever. What key did he have? I don't know. Maybe we'll find some evidence of him around here. Actually, you know what? Let's let's see. Can we can we pick this? Yes, we can. Right. So it's probably just the money that we couldn't get without the key. Well, this is another useful uh, escape route, perhaps. I mean, it's dark. We could leap from balcony to balcony. I do need to hide from guards anyway, these guest rooms are a pretty good option. Speaking of guards... Alright. So I haven't been in the main hall yet, so let's put a question mark on that. Or otherwise we're going to go around here. I should probably check out this alarm room before trying to get into Gilda's bedroom, I think. Maybe the library and ballroom are the way to go to observe, given, given that hot pit. What did he call it? The DQ system. The damn quick system? I mean, you'd hope it's damn quick, right? Well, let's try going out behind this guy. It might be Polish. Hello? Is someone there? Hang on. The cooking of a servant. Take us to the allowed servant, put us the servant into a cauldron. At thy leisure, thou canst put an apple into the servant's mouth. Boil thee the cauldron until the servant passes out. Put the lid over the cauldron. Keep the sea boiling in the cauldron for six hours. Thou canst now take the servant out from the cauldron. Serve us thee the servant with groceries and wine. Somebody using switches around. Oh shit. <laughs> They're not coming here. Okay. Why does he have books about cooking servants? Alright, so he's locking the door. He wasn't using a switch. He was he was opening locking and unlocking a door there, I guess. I wasn't sure if maybe he was going into the library or not. He had different livery than the others, that's odd. No, oh, he is pushing a switch. And oh, he's coming back here. <clears throat> is that the alarm system he's pushing the button for? And he keeps coming back here. This is, this is exceedingly <laughs> odd. I need to see what he's doing. I need to get down from here and I need to get some moss on this noisy floor. Get down behind him without him noticing. <laughs> so 
Fuckers can hear me, yeah. Okay. I see what he's doing with the switch. No, not from here. I need to follow him. <clears throat> Should have taken my rope pack as well. Oh, hello. If I get on these beams, there's, there's a hatch there. That might... Is there one there too? I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe that's what I should try. If I can observe from above. Well, the good news about this moss is I can jump and grab my arrow, right? Without being heard. So if we try and climb onto the beams here. <laughs> no, there is no hatch there. There's only a hatch here. Okay. So let's go above the library there. Oh, it goes onto the roof. Okay, I not consider there might be a rooftop entrance. If there's anywhere else we can get on the roof, it's probably noisy there. Yeah, it is a noisy roof. Doesn't look like we can go anywhere else in particular. Odd. We might be able to get down onto the battlements or something. I have a feeling this is really just a way into the ballroom. So let's get back in. Alright, okay, you can do this. this spot let's let's follow him down next time and let's see what he's doing with this button <clears throat> although it does how light is it in that room it might be there might not be enough darkness <clears throat> I mean I could throw another moss in the corner and get down there while he's standing here which might be a better plan I'm gonna take it I'm gonna take it slow I'm gonna see where he walks <laughs> I don't see no, I don't see any darkness. Oh yeah, maybe there is. So he walks over and pushes that button. I wonder if he has to push it every few minutes or else the alarm goes off. Is he not setting off the alarm? Maybe it's a dead man switch kind of arrangement. What are you, why are you coming into this corner? Or you're just being officious. There's a little plaque above the switch. We want, I want to see what that says. <laughs> and I also want that vase, but the vase is less timing dependent. Let's go see what the plaque says. Alarm system warning, do not leave unattended. Any guards avoiding their duties shall be dealt with. Ah, does he need to, maybe it doesn't go off if he keeps pressing it. Maybe he needs to keep pressing it to activate it. I don't know, it's a long for the study.
Remember, working is fun. So there's a little statue of death. Hello. A bill. Invoice for hemorrhoid services. He has been fined for 4,500 gold. One DQ alarm system. Installation, 3,500 gold. Timer adjusting, 2,500 gold. Oh no, what well, DQ alarm system is 3,500. Installation, 2,500. Timer adjusting, 3,000 gold. And a goodwill discount of 4,500. Total, 4,500. Hello, there's a key there too. Ah, oh, that's the house key. Can I drop that back in the... I can indeed. All right. You know, I don't need two copies of the key. And it goes. Okay. What is that? What is it allow me even protecting? And where are the operating instructions? It's like, I can see the guy there, but I don't really want to mess with him in case it needs him to keep pushing the button. I mean, just lights. Is there anything hiding behind this painting? Oh, I forgot to say it, but I didn't even see that. Don't tell me the alarm is on the safe. I mean, it could be, right? Girl's diary. Raised guard salary, but I had to cut it from the servants, but they don't mind, I'm sure. Not that I care, actually. I did raise Helga's salary somewhat, though. Ah, oh, the book arrived today. I'm in good spirits, as it did indeed come in time. Surprising, thinking of the fact where it came from. It was a long wait, but it was worth it. First, I was thinking of putting it in the same place with my old diary, but I thought the, thought the book needed an even more secure place, so I immediately placed it in its proper place, especially because it was so damn expensive. I don't want any of the servants to mess with it with their greasy fingers. Not that they probably would understand a word from it. Nobody can get it now, except me, of course. If it weren't for the discount I'll get for the, for the, for the alarm system, that hammerite probably wouldn't feel as comfortable in here as he does now. I hope none of my guards and servants actually listen to his sermons. Oh, the builder has enlightened me and thee, my children. I'd also throw those damn pews with their hammer markings away, but Brother Big Mouth would just start questioning and asking me where they disappeared to. With my luck, he'd hold him back to the chapel. At least he doesn't visit every morning, or I'd lose my sanity. Great. Like that hammerite wouldn't be enough, I had an unwanted visitor. I don't think he got anything, but he did manage to get away. It's quite likely that Opong. He's been looking around this part of town for some weeks. My boys managed to wound him, but little else. I have to raise their salary. Damn, damn, damn. I can't find my other key. That damned Opong probably got it. Just perfect. Oh well, at least I'm sure that no one really can get to the book now. Would it have been a good idea to place the book into the same place with the old diary after all? At least I could get my hands on it practically whenever I wanted to. Even at nights, as Mary sleeps like a log. But anyway, it makes me think a bit. If Opong got the key, did he get to the book? He hasn't touched the other key, as I have it with me all the time. So the book should still be there. The Hammerites have finally installed the alarm system. That's interesting, to say the least. I have to remember to say John tell Jonathan that the guards should start doing the shift changes faster. I have to pull a hammer out from downtown here just to shut off the damn alarm. They did a sloppy job regarding that. Also, I raised Helga's salary again. And not by much, of course. My good mood is finally coming back. But just a little. I found an interesting recipe from the library. If the cook isn't starting to make better food, I'm going to suggest it to him. It should work, as dropping his salary doesn't seem to. I finally found a person who's able to help me with her pong. It seems as if my little assassin is far better with weaponry than haggling. I gave him 10,000 in advance, but just because of my good mood. I hope he's as good as his price or I'll have him decapitated. I'm going to throw a little party. You have to remember to send servants to buy more wine and all that crap. It seems that two of the guests are staying a bit longer living far away from here and all. Well, it doesn't matter now as I can't get to the book. Not that I think they would come even near the chapel, but you can never be too sure. It seems that my assassin has failed in his duties. Miserably. I sent Marcus to lean on him. He said he needs a bit of money to find him and to buy equipment and needed to make an example of him. I must have been tired or drunk or something as I agreed with him. He'd better get rid of my assassin or I'll get rid of him. I have plans for Helga. I hired some street scum to steal the servant's wagon. From me. <laughs> this plan is so stupid that it has to work. The party was a success. Unfortunately, there has been no word from Marcus. It seems that someone is stealing my wines. Nothing too serious, there's currently not much to steal. But it's still annoying me. This has been going on for some time now, and I'm finally fed up with it. If 
wasn't poison from a street vendor. He said it would first paralyze the muscles, starting from the face and going downwards, and then finally killing the victim. I took the most expensive looking bottle, emptied it, filled it with water, and mixed the poison in. Interestingly, the result almost looked like the original wine. I'm grinning today when I go to bed. Oh. Paralyzed muscles from the face down. Did the guy in the sewers... Did the were the spiders stealing the wine and he ate the sp oh interest I don't know oh some thieves took the servant's wagon what a pity nothing seems to be holy nowadays as even man's wagons aren't safe <laughs> but I should have guessed that it didn't work exactly perfectly those street rats have seemed to have scared my barracks why did they have to go in there damn curious bunch that just had to open that door now the barracks have started to behave aggressively hopefully they'll calm down soon Mary went to the wagon market I actually never believed she'd do that perfect. I'm getting my good mood back. Okay, well, we have some backstory on the dead guys and all that, but, uh... What is the... What is the deal with his plan for Helga? I don't understand this. Um... We also have some notes on the book, the key, and something about the alarms, right, uh... It's interesting, it doesn't say anything more. I have to remember to tell Jonathan the guards should start doing shift changes faster. That still doesn't tell me how the alarm works, and I'm concerned by that. But, I'm further concerned that I won't just take all this money. So, the alarm is for his book, of course. And the book must be what I need. It's gotta have it's gotta have the stuff I need. So, the old place for the book was in the bedroom, right? His old diary is in the bedroom. Maybe he's in the bedroom too, I don't know. But I don't know where... I don't know where he would be keeping the book. So this room... Alright, if we go out of this door, we just come into the main hall, which is... I guess that's the guard going around the main hall. Um, there was one guard that runs around here, but there's also a guard that runs up and down this hallway. I think I want to go back through the library, which seems... The library does not seem to be patrolled. I mean, it's got a nice floor, and there's that guy is kind of near it, but... How far can I go without being illuminated? Not quite. Fairly dim, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, there's a red book in that bookcase. Oh, there's something on top of this shelf as well. Mm, this guy might see if I try and just climb on the table to, <clears throat> to look at it. I might have to wait till he moves again. <clears throat> Don't know how well he sees it in here. He might he might see me standing on the table. He might not. A little patience never hurt anyone, right? <laughs> the name of the lilac. Okay. It's just a book. What's this book? Correspondence of Assassins. Okay. Right, so this hallway is patrol, right? You can wait and see. Just be a little bit patient here. Chew on this apple I've got. Well, I've looked all now. <clears throat> oh, he's got a key on him, too. Seems as if Lord Killer might be uh, 
sleep? in here, that's not good. Well. Mm -hmm. Nothing then. Okay, he's gone. Gone again. Alright. Thought I was going to have to escape to the rafters once more, but uh, no. Still, nice to know that I have escape options sometimes. Okay, so it's Unfortunately, he's just faces the doorway, or maybe he doesn't always face the doorway. Maybe that was just, uh... This noisy floor here is really doing me... Is the guard coming this way? My apple has been eaten. It's gone, it's run out. Terrible. Let's drink coffee instead. Is that another suspicious book there? Oh, it is. Oh, it's the Adventures of Griffin. Not suspicious, just uh, an interesting book, I guess. Did you see me that time? I think not. Oh, he does walk away, okay. Won't get his key. I'm not gonna hit the lights, that would be a very bad idea. I'd love to go to the side of the room. Helga, you should be quieter. <laughs> oh, you heard that. Oh, he saw me. Bombs. I don't have any. Oh, shit. Well, I don't mind if he saw me, if he knows who did it. I guess it's fine. Hey, he's, he's, he's in flagrante delicto with Helga, right? I mean, that's not really sufficient blackmail unless we've established. Got his key, of course. Oh no, not that key. What about the other key? No. Interesting. He doesn't have a key on him, does he? No. By Rudolph's request, I'm going to the annual mar wagon markets tomorrow. He didn't want to give this chance to a servant. He thinks they have no taste for fashions. And after all, the wagons our servants use also tell something about us. I agree with Renault, and being a few days away from his guests can't really hurt me. I've also noticed that the captain of the house guard, Jonathan, has been quite depressed, as his best friend Marcus has been missing for almost a week now. To cheer him up, I gave him my private key. It doesn't open much, not even the front doors, which I always find interesting, but I don't need it at the market, and it makes Jonathan feel important, I'm sure of it. I guess that explains the, uh, the key. Hello. That's, that's a safe. That's probably what's... 
What's being alarm? But does the alarm... No, that's an alarm light. It's not an alarm switch. Hmm. Hello, what's this? Oh, okay, that gives access to the safe. So, wait a minute. That's the back garden. Valuable firefighter, because I didn't notice. Do you have anything in the fireplace? No. Surely the alarm's gonna go off if I open this? I mean, I can't pick the lock, right? Oh, I can. What? Oh, this is his old diary. Oh, the city truly is a magnificent place. Well, no, not really. It's very good to know that I don't have to live here the rest of my life. Just some years, if everything goes as planned. I haven't written for some time now. My contacts helped me to get into a party hosted by Lord Booker, General and one of Baron's friends. His daughter is about my age, and she fits perfectly with my plans. One of my contacts showed me something interesting. I've never thought about leaves and vines like that. It was fascinating. He promised to show me more tomorrow. I can understand why the Blackbrook Council sent me on this mission. This woodsy lord truly is a fascinating person. Of course he's dead, been for some thousand years. But his magic still seemed to roam around. No wonder the city is considered a big threat. I met Mary Bookrow yesterday. I think she's in love with me. Ha! Ah! I haven't written for some time, but with good reason. First, I made huge progress with Mary. We're getting married next week. Secondly, my contacts told me how I can help my lord. They have told me lots about him in these past months. I can clearly see my place in his plans now. We're married. Bought a nice little mansion and renovated it a bit. The workers built my little hideaway under the chapel. I paid them a little extra, so I should have their silence. I sent the first correspondence to Blackbrook. It was hard, but I have many contacts nowadays. The council should be happy. I found out about a certain book. The Book of the Dolotai, to be exact. It was very expensive, but I managed to get a copy of it. Of course, it doesn't arrive for some time, but I can feel that my lord is happy. The book has arrived! Unfortunately, I had a message from Blackbrook saying that I have to get more info. Not just what I can get pull out from Lord Brookrow. It seems that I have to get more contacts in the form of other nobles. I've started to throw parties. This also means I don't have time nor privacy to write for some time. Now this is worth the price of admission. Okay, so he's a uh, an agent of Blackbrook. Under the chapel? This is something. Okay. Huh. After you're done with your other objectives, get back to where you started. So he's worried about the Book of Dollar Time. What's, what does open this? So I can't pick the lock. Well, it's definitely locked. And it's not Mary's. Oh, it's not Mary's key, is it? No. Definitely not the guest room key. I mean, this is Mary's side of the bed, right? It doesn't Mary's diary, so it makes sense for it to be Mary's key, but... Why did he want to send Mary away? It's not just to go and uh, have a fling with Helga, surely. Alright, well... I guess we're heading back to the chapel? Downstairs? What's the best way downstairs? I mean, the chapel's near the side door. We can just go outside again and go around the garden. What is the deal with that alarm? What's up with his key? <laughs> oh, it's just the same one I've got. Shit, that's this room. I guess I need to look in the main hall for loot, right? What have I got? After you're done with your other objectives, get back to where you started, but I'm not done. I mean, I might be done with the, the to-do list I have been given, but I'm not done with this investigation by any means. I want to follow this guy out. Be 
He sits and stands here for a while, does he? I'm not sure if this timing is any good, whether he's going to come start coming down the stairs again in any, any second now. Let's be on this side. down there. Are oh, there guards down there? They don't seem to be. No, oh, he keeps pushing that button. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, so someone does the patrol. So he was going from the games room through this door. He's got to come back, right? Because what I see there, nothing. Nothing now. He's got to go back. He doesn't have to go down the side passage. Yeah, here he comes again. There's one more moss. I'm gonna place it at the base of the stairs, and I can jump to the carpet. And I don't know whether coming up the stairs is often as noisy, clacky place. Hang on, where's he going now? Oh, okay, he goes through the dining hall. Right, friend up there is gone, so. What's going on over there? Alright, so we want to go to the side room. Before he comes back, and that'll get us to. Well, we can. Steel was a banner. Oh, I didn't. There was a banner in Lord Geller's room, and I did not. Did not touch it, right? So he's got a secret under the chapel. We have a key. We know that. What's his name had another key? A pong. We haven't found a lock, so. We found a. I mean, this piece of bookcase is suspicious, but we found a. Suspicious book, and it just gave us a healing potion, which turned out to be quite good because we needed that. Where is the lock? Putting the lights on isn't going to help, is it? I don't think. Closely enough. Maybe it's on the roof, on the ceiling? No. <sighs> the workers built my little hideaway under the chapel. Little hideaway under the chapel. How? Do we access it? I mean, I have... I surely haven't finished the mission. I mean, I could finish the mission now, right? It hasn't given me new objectives, which is... Perhaps slightly surprising. I could take a sword to this door. It seems uncouth. But there's definitely a door there. I wonder if I have the lights on and use this bridge, does that do anything different? Oh, well, it's a possibility, but... Hmm. You mind telling me how you open your secret room, sir? Because I'm not... I suppose he does mind. I suppose he's not going to be happy to just... Yellow yeah, secrets. Did I go in? No, I haven't been in that room. I guess maybe I should. That's the best way to get there. Off the main hall when this guy is done, right? Does he come here? Yes, he comes in here. He comes in here briefly. Well, no, he comes in that room. 
Let's observe. And I don't know about this alarm. I wish I knew how this alarm works. I just don't have any information on it. There isn't really anywhere to hide in this room, is there? No. I heard some whistling. I think he's on his way. So these guards are slow and ponderous in their patrols, which I guess is fair enough. Wish this tip actually told me something about the alarm. It's like, uh, it isn't just the normal press the button for the alarm type, but something more clever. It'd be wise to observe how it works. Well, I mean, it might be that. Maybe it is just a dead man's switch. I don't know what the Q means. Here we go. So he comes in here. When he goes out, this is our window for getting into that other room. Okay, there's two guards patrol through here. Who is this other guy? Where's he going? He's going into the room we want to be in. Oh, is that just the basement access? I guess that's just the basement access. Okay, so maybe I don't need to worry about that. These guards out here are kind of annoyed at me. Try and get back in the front balcony up there again, then. Um, all the guest rooms. Well, I haven't been in the bathroom where the drunk guard is. Oh, the quick way to the girl's bedroom, of course. Let's go right around the yard. Let's use his balcony. Also, we know this one. We know how this one works. We know where it takes us. Easy to get to the guest room from here. Let's just let's just use it. So it was the thief in the cellars who'd been stealing the wine. <coughs> right, that makes sense. It wasn't the, it wasn't the, the spider tasted bad. The spider wasn't cool. <coughs> mm. Drunken guard, if we keep pushing all that that way. 
I'm just gonna creep back out behind this fella. And I did jump down the spanner. Oh, okay. So this is a waste of time coming up here. Well, except we still don't... You know what, let's make a note. Let's make a note. Locked. Uh, what do you call it? Jewel case. And I guess we've, we've been in the main hall now. I can take those question marks. Alright, well, I guess we're getting down this way. For lack of any better options. Maybe. Oh, it's not clear if I can get down safely, actually. that jump? I'm not sure. Let's try it. <laughs> the answer is yes, I could have made that jump. Except the jump got it slightly wrong and the mantle failed. Is it going to be safe? No. Is it going to be safe to run across the up here. All quiet now. Must no. have been rats. Got all these other guards. Let's let's go down. <laughs> so these are the guest rooms. Ah, oh, here's the way down to the basement. We know where we are. So It's just the stairway leading to the basement, right? There's surely nothing in that room. But I don't know for sure. And there's the suspicious void there. is bad. I think the guy who just walked past us is going to be on the way back by the time we have a window to move in front of the second guard. That's annoying. Yeah, he is. I can hear his footsteps already coming closer. All right, well, I guess we'll wait for him to pass as well. We've got a little bit of time because this guy has to go up through the kitchen, dining hall. He's got to get him all the way around there. No, he doesn't. He cuts across this way. He's still going to go through the dining hall. Should have an upper window. <clears throat> okay, let's go. What was that noise? Who knows what it was? Pipes. And this just opens directly onto the main hall. Okay. Well, as much as I do need to be in the main hall, that is not. Not my way to get there. Just so coming back, we're gonna go back out to the front garden. It's a chapel. We're gonna go around to the side door again. Uh, I mean, the side door is the easiest access from the street, right? <laughs> but uh, we're here now. We might as well uh, go back out to, to the yard and just round. It's not too hard. The yard is dark and full of terrors. I mean, darkish. Yuck. Wow, look at them all there. I guess we have to cross the far wall and, and run up that way, I think. I 
I have a moment? Wasn't there another guy at ground level? Mm, I think it was. It might be around the corner. Okay, let's just go. the chapel. What is the deal with the alarm? What is the deal with the alarm? So I just batter on this door and hope it breaks up. I mean, it feels wrong to do so. Right? I can't see any sign of anything else. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Oh, it's not going to work. Not made of wood. Well then. I don't know, you know what? I don't really want to go knocking out that guard who's pressing the alarm button regularly. Because that feels like that's going to cause the alarm to get set off. I'd rather avoid that. What I'm going to do is uh, end the episode here in the chapel again. Go see if I can't find a slight hint in the right direction. Well, uh, this is extremely disappointing. We have all this stuff about keys, right? We got we got Lord Geller's keys. We have all this information about something he's keeping under the chapel. This, this book. What well, sounds like, you know, a really interesting thing that it's, that it's taunting us about, but we can't get in. There should be two locks here, one for each key, as well as the healing potion, I guess. Um, and then one of the other keys, Opong, we would have, should have found him in the cellar, but... Apparently all of that is only it only exists on experts, so the mission kind of feels half done when you're not playing on expert, which is a bizarre choice to me. It just feels really weird, but I guess I guess I mean I guess that's it. I guess we know where we are, right? We need to go out the back door. Um, back doors from the games room. It's safe to go through. Maybe we can try it. You saw nothing. You saw nothing either. Okay. So I guess very disappointing, but we're just gonna make do with the blackmail info and not the actual thing that Lord Killer wants that is kind of really what this whole mission is all about and I'm I'm gonna say I'm definitely disappointed with that decision, but uh Well that's what the mission we've done, so that's that's it. We made a mission that is disappointing into players who play it on lower difficulties. That's how it is. Strange choice. Yeah, and there's, there's a thousand, well, seven hundred more loot. Probably much of some of it down in that secret room that we can't even access, I think. I don't know. That's just very weird. I guess the other thing is, the thread did confirm that that alarm is a dead man's switch, that if you stop pressing the button regularly, the alarm will go off. Uh, which is kind of what I thought must be the case, but uh, nice to see you confirmed. And well, that was, you know, 
four-fifths of Gilla's pride because the rest of his pride is locked away in under behind a different difficulty level. I guess I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to replay this right now. It's, uh, uh, this is going to be it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you here soon for the next mission. Well, curiosity got the better of me. I am here in Dromed, and I have opened the door. So there's the two locks that we should have. I mean, I, I haven't unlocked them, I've just uh, cheated my way in, basically. But uh, let's see what we would have found if we come down here on Expert. Now, there may be other information we don't have, I don't know. We're gonna see what is down here. A lot of dark spiral staircase. Creepy sounds. Very more like sounds. More trees. Oh. This is an interesting chamber. Hmm. Three of them there are. Powerful and equal in order. They stand in the way of light, but none of them is worse than the other. The first from the left, and the second from the right. And, with, and when death comes close, you shall realize its might. Alright, these statues all look probable, right? Three of them, powerful and equal in order, they stand in the way of light. Three boards. We have a Hammerite, we've got a Keeper, we've got a Reef Lady, we've got Philosopher, Lady, Him, Silver, and Death. Powerful and equal in order, they stand in the way of light, but none is worse than the other. First from the left, and the second from the right. And when death comes close, this makes no sense at all to me. There are three of them. There's no. There's no three the same. Hmm. I mean. Oh, these are all... Okay, they all turn slightly. Oh, this is going to be... I mean, this could be brute force, but... Uh, I guess we just have to get the combination right. Powerful and equal in order, they stand in the way of light, but none is worse than the other. Keepers? No, wait, are we choosing the... Maybe we're choosing the taller statue on each one? And then... Death? Or Cthulhu, no. Well, if we choose the... Sh Wait, which one of those is taller? That was taller. Let's choose the shorter one on each of these. Hmm. Well. Maybe we are doing it all wrong. First from the left and the second from the right. Let's just do the three tall ones here. Maybe we have to actually do them in order. 
So, standing here, the first from the left. Wait a minute, let's do the first one on the left, second one on the right, and. Yeah, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea, and I don't fancy reporting this. I'm gonna go look up another clue. Well, I was kind of on the right track. First from the left and the second from the right. First from the left when I'm facing this way, so I'm facing the wrong way. So first from the left, second on the right, and then death. It's apparently how it's supposed to work, but. Uh, no. Maybe not. Didn't reset tests. Hang on. Stand facing the poem. First, make sure all statues are in their original position, which is not immediately obvious, they only turn slightly, but it looks like they are. Okay. Then turn the one on your left. Move to your right to the next shelf, and turn the left one on, on here. What? Second to... Th oh. First on the left, second from the right, from the poem. And then death. Okay, it wasn't... It wasn't the shelves. Okay, that's... that's... Ugh. I mean, it, it does kind of make sense, but... Like... That's the first one on my left, that is the second one on my right. And then when death comes close... I mean, that is not death coming close, that is death actually being there, but I suppose... Yeah, I suppose maybe I could have figured that out. A little obscure. The Book of the Dollar Tie. Thinks he he to succeed, thinks he he to slay the beast, thinks he he to win the peace, but he forgets about us. A fool's he is he, prevails with us, and Master will rejoice, and we punish the mankind for its own foolishness, for the sake of the tree. It may be time for me to move along now. Don't want to wear out my welcome. Yeah, good thinking. And that is what that is the book the killer tried so hard to obtain and conceal and wow how much money did he spend getting these people to build this big deep spiral stair i don't know but uh <gasps> that's it that's what we were missing by playing on Normal or hard. I mean, I guess I'm playing on hard, but uh, you have to be an expert for that to be accessible. All right. See you next time.